Heart attacks are one of the biggest killers in Australia, but if you're lucky enough to survive a cardiac arrest, you're at a growing risk of suffering a second and this time fatal attack. A report by Deloitte Access Economics has found fatal repeat heart attacks will rise by more than 40% by 2020. The report's author is Lynn Pizzullo. Um, the numbers are increasing from 10,000 events this year. So we had uh, 10,000 people who died from a heart attack in 2010. And of those, about 5,000 deaths were attributable to secondary events, which means a repeat event, a second or subsequent event after an initial heart attack. And those numbers are increasing primarily due to demographic ageing of the population, uh, but also because um, mortality for females is slightly higher than for males. And if you do suffer a second heart attack, is it more likely to be fatal than the first event? Yeah, repeat events have a higher um, fatality risk than do initial events. And also, once you've had an initial event, you have an increased likelihood of having a second event. So it's very important to um, be involved in some secondary of prevention after that initial heart attack. But your study found that 86% uh, of heart attack victims are not fully aware of what they should do in order to prevent a second heart attack. So they're just not getting the information they need. That's correct, Roz. There are issues of both access as well as um, issues of information for people after they've had an initial event. So some people aren't aware of the lifestyle uh, modification and behavioural changes that they need to make or they find it difficult to implement, to quit smoking or to start that exercise program, particularly if they're feeling frail. Also, if the person is not complying with their medication regime or if they're not able to access cardiac rehabilitation, um, they can not be preventing their second event. But presumably there's nothing like having that first heart attack to be a wake-up call that you need to change, perhaps change your lifestyle, your diet uh, and exercise regime. Is there evidence, though, that people just carry on as they did before, that apathy is an element in this? Well, certainly after a first event, you're not feeling the best. So it can be a hard time to make changes. And indeed, you know, some changes are difficult to make. It's difficult when you're feeling frail to start an exercise program. It's difficult, for example, to stop smoking. It's an addictive substance. And as an ex-smoker, I can certainly uh, attest to the difficulty that there can be in, in, uh, in attempting to give up. So we have to uh, understand the, the factors, the barriers to, to, to the reasons why people are not um, being involved in that preventive uh, activity and also for some people it's just a matter of access, particularly people who live in regional Australia. Lynn Pizzullo, thank you. Thank you.